Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Metabox tutorial for beginners and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will discuss about dashboard metaboxes in which we will see that how can we add as well as how can we remove the metaboxes from our dashboard. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress Metabox tutorial that actually for the clear concept about this video session. In our previous video sessions guys we had discussed about the function that is add meta box in which by the help of this function actually we have made our meta boxes to post section pg section as well as we have seen about the custom post type so in this video session guys we if we want to register any of the meta box at dashboard then we need to use a uh, action hook called WordPress means WP dashboard setup this is action hook that we have to use to register our meta boxes at the dashboard so if we go to browser this is our administrator panel if we scroll down so now this wordpress dashboard contains several types of meta boxes that is by default wordpress provides okay as you can see this is also a this is also a wordpress meta box this is also a wordpress meta box and now this is also activity so all these things actually wordpress provides by default at this dashboard section so if we want to add our custom meta box to this section so how can we add Basically to add that we need to use action hook called WP dashboard setup and this is the function that we need to use to register our meta box. Okay, so just go to editor and in the previous video session guys this is the plugin that we have made which actually registered our meta boxes to the pages section as we can see post section and also in the previous video session we also seen about the custom post type. So let's make a function which actually registers our custom meta box at the dashboard section. So let's see first of all add action and inside this action we need to use called WP dashboard setup. Okay, this is the action hook that we have to use and in the next parameter we need to bind the callback function. So let's say WPL, OWT, let's say register, meta box, dashboard. Okay, so just copy this function name and we have to define this function list so let's say function this is the function name and now inside this function name we are going to define some of the functionality which basically register our meta box to the dashboard so for that we need to use called add meta box this is the function that we have discussed in our first part as well as in the second part in deep okay so the first parameter we need to pass inside this function add meta box that is first id id of that meta box so let's say that owt called dashboard id this is the id that we have specified and now in the second parameter we need to pass the title so let's say that owt dashboard meta box okay in the third parameter we need to pass the callback function so let's say that wpl owt and let's say dashboard and function so basically guys we will see all these in action about the callback functions in our upcoming videos okay so don't worry for now okay so in the next parameter guys we need to pass the screen so we want that this visit means this meta box will be appeared on the dashboard section so we need to pass the dashboard here because if you have remembered or watched our previous video session that is part 2 so in that part 2 you notice that actually add meta box here is the called page because this meta box registered for the pages section here we have passed the post because this meta box has been registered for the post section and now in the third section we have seen about the custom post type that is book that we have made so basically these are the screens okay so in the same case we have to pass called the dashboard this is the screen name means here we are going to display our meta box that is dashboard okay next parameter we need to pass to call the context so let's say normal and in the last parameter we need to pass called the priority of this context so let's say hi okay so if we save that just go to browser and now as we can see that for now here no registered actually we have made our meta box okay so if we refresh this page and now after refreshing this page if we scroll down here is the meta box that we have made called OWT dashboard meta box so this is the meta box guys that we have registered for the dashboard so we need to keep the concept in our mind is that first we need to use the action hook called WP dashboard setup and finally we have to use the syntax or the parameters for this add meta box function okay 
and also if we change the parameter from normal to side so let's say side if we change now and save this file just refresh this page once more and now as we can see the position of the meta box has been changed from the normal position to the side position okay so these are the parameters guys actually we had discussed about all these parameters of add meta box in our previous video session that is in part 2 so this is all about guys that how can we register or how can we made our, our custom meta box to dashboard section. So let's move to our remove meta box means we want to remove some of the meta boxes from this dashboard section. If we want to remove this quick draft, we want to remove this WordPress events and news, we want to remove this activity. So how can we achieve this task? Okay, so just go to editor and now let's make comment of that. Okay, because this action hook will be used for remove meta box as well. For the documentation study of guys called the function remove meta box, if you go to the developers.wordpress.org, so here is the function called remove meta box. Basically, it accepts some of the parameters from us. The first parameter should be called ID. This is the ID of the meta box. Okay, and this is the screen actually from where we want to remove. And this is the context that is what is the position actually the meta box exists. Okay, so just copy this function name go to editor and let's paste inside this callback function so inside this function guys we need to pass the parameter or the id of that meta box so here is a question guys that how can we understand how can we pass the id of that meta box so just go to browser and now if we want to suppose remove this quick draft section okay so just inspect that after inspecting if we just close this div okay so this is the id this is the id of this quick draft section means dashboard quick press okay if you go to the documentation section as well if we just scroll down here as you can see that here we have ids of that meta boxes but these ids are not from the dashboard section these ids from the pages as well as the post section okay so if you scroll down and now as we can see that the for the dashboard visits for the dashboard section here are the IDs called dashboard right now dashboard recent comments dashboard incoming links and here is the ID called dashboard quick press okay so if you want to remove if you want to remove this quick press so just make copy of this ID because this is the ID of this meta box okay just go to editor and let's pass inside that in the second parameter we need to pass the screen so basically it exists at the dashboard section and we want to remove from the dashboard too in the third parameter guys we need to pass called the context so if you go to browser so basically this is the normal position because right now our custom meta box is at the side position so now it is at the normal position so we want that this meta box has been removed from this normal position so just go to editor and we need to pass called the normal here so let's say normal so successfully we are going to remove this quick press id of the meta box from the dashboard screen and about the normal position okay so if we save this file just reload this page quick draft section guys as i think that it has been not been removed from the dashboard section so just go to editor and now let's change from the normal to side okay so if we change and save this file go to browser and just refresh this page and now as we can see the quick draft section has been removed from this dashboard so we need to change from the normal position to the side position okay so basically let's remove another positions of this that so let's say that we want to remove this activity section too okay so just inspect that so let's find first of all we have to find the id of this activity okay so just i'm going to let's say close that open this and now it is called the dashboard activity so basically this activity meta box has the id called dashboard activity so we want to, if we want to remove this dashboard activity from dashboard so what we have to do just go to editor and let's say that remove meta box in the next parameter we need to pass the id of that so basically it contains the id called dashboard activity so just copy this paste here and the screen section contains the dashboard because we want to remove from the dashboard okay and the context is from the side position okay so if we save this file and let's pass semicolon here so if we save this file go to browser just reload this page after loading we can see that we have successfully removed the activity meta box from the dashboard section okay so any dash any meta box if you want to remove guys then you can remove by getting the id of that 
okay so basically we have to keep in mind about remove meta box is that first parameter we need to pass the id of that meta box and second the screen and third this is the context okay so if you go to the documentation section here is a good documentation actually the codex dot wordpress.org provides basically if you copy all these things just make a copy of that go to editor and let's replace or let's add all these functionality here okay and also let me let's make comment of this section because we have made okay so right now after calling WP dashboard setup this function will run and it will remove all the dashboard meta boxes that actually WordPress provides okay so just save this file if we reload our administrator panel just reload that and now as we can see that we have no longer exist all meta boxes because after using all these things actually it has removed all the meta boxes that WordPress provides so basically guys by the help of this video session we understood about that how can we register our custom meta box at the dashboard position and also we have seen that if we want to remove any of the meta box from the dashboard then how can we remove okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day